what is the issue regarding this player and the allegations made by the queen's park rangers netball team i'm not aware of any issue um we went to saint martin for the qualifier and we have had incident where carissa was being rude not doing what she's been told to do by the trainer and by myself. It was just an, um, a situation where the trainer was in charge. He was giving her instruction and she refused to do it. I pulled her out of the training. I asked her why she been disrespectful. Why is she doing the thing that he has asked her to do? And why is it every time when he's not times and I tell her to do things, why is she stubborn not to do it? She turned her face away from me and I said, Carissa, I am speaking to you. So look at me. And she refused and I hold on to her chin and I turned her face to me. And I said, I am tired of it. And that is disrespectful to the coaches and to her teammates. And that's where it was. There was nothing after that, nothing. She played. We had Trinidad that day. That was the last day of the tour. We played. We lost. We got qualified. I had meeting with them. I told them when training will start, what's going to be needed to get everybody on part so that we can have a very good competitive team. We went back to Grenada. That was it. Next thing I'm hearing that it choked her. I'm not aware of any choking. And I think when we didn't see Carissa come to training, I asked if Carissa have come to training. They said no. I asked almost every week. I said, ask Carissa come to training because I know the implication. If she don't come and that form goes up, she will not be eligible to play. And I am not, I was in Grenada for quite a while. Yes, I wasn't there for quite a while. And each time I asked, I said, is Carissa coming to training? They said, no. By the time when she decided to turn up to training, and that was in the middle of March, she called Kathy Ann to ask if she could come to training. What we were told by Miss Bob Simpson when I spoke to Glennis, Glennis said Bob's an advisor that she's preparing for CXC and uh, you know she's not a fast learner, so it's going to be hard for her to come to training. She can only come on the weekend, which is on Saturday. I said, okay, we work with that. She can come on Saturday. She showed up. She never showed up. She never showed up at no time. And so in mid-May, mid-March, was when she called Kathy Ann to ask if she could come to training. By then, the 20 names had gone into INF. The 20 names had gone in. What we had tried to do was to see if we can have her name submitted. And that means we'd have to submit a name and pull a name out. At the time when we requested it, they said we cannot. And we didn't have a case to prove why her name wasn't in it in the initial stage. And which will which will also be unfair to the others who have been coming to training. I think so too. I think so too. But you know, there is never a doubt that Carissa is a good player. She's one of the best defenders, and that makes my job a little bit more difficult because I'm losing one of my best players. But my point is, she's in Grenada. She's playing matches because I understand even though she couldn't come during the week and she didn't show up on Saturday, she was playing in different leagues. So I'm saying, who is advising her? Who is advising her? This is a national program. We're preparing for a tournament of a great magnitude. How do you turn up to training three months before you go to a tournament? That can't work. And you have other players who have been coming morning in, morning out on the beach training working hard how do i tell these players no oh a superstar comes in and you have to be dropped out that's not fair but at the end of the day we did not we didn't cause carissa not to be in this selection whoever was advising carissa and carissa herself so they brought it on themselves not to so we didn't have a choice we didn't have a choice we are not governed by this is not a caribbean tournament where a week or two weeks you can say okay i want to put this player in that's not it upper, that's not with upper rate inf sends for the name they send it for a reason all 20 players have been registered with the international netball federation and we have strict guidelines you saw what happened to us in uh, when we were going to st martin, martin which martin. was of yeah. course yes and that really was not our fault right but yeah. we had to take a backlash for it and you saw what happened. So we know going forward, we have to make sure we meet every single deadline. There's deadline for this to submit. There's deadline for fees to come in. There's deadline for payments to come in for hotel. We have to meet those deadlines or else we're out of the tournament. These people are strict. 
Coach, I know it's may not directly relating to this issue, and I, I want to talk about probably the team preparing as well. But we have seen not just in Grenada, but even recently in Jamaica, we had a similar issue with you know some of the so-called star players refusing to go to training and all these other issues. Is there a issue regarding ill discipline in sports and netball in particular in the region? Yes, I think it is, you know, I think it's just a part of our culture. We don't do things unless there's consequences. And so you don't come training unless there's a consequence. So now Carissa is suffering the consequence of not coming to training. And so are other players. And I talk again with the Jamaican players. Yeah, they might have, you have to have discipline. There's one person charge. You might not like the person, but you have to respect the position. You have to respect the position. And here we are with the netball too with Jamaica. They are not respecting the position. And so you might have a reason that the coach is not good or the coach is not whatever, but there are ways to do it. You, The coach cannot give you an instruction and you refuse to do it. That doesn't work. That is being in discipline without a question sign. So where do we go from here? The fact is... The Grenada team is preparing in the final um, stretch to head off to Botswana. Are you satisfied with the, the 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 level of readiness preparation of the team, despite the um, that issue with one player? I think um, our fitness. I think I'm a bit satisfied with it. Um, the strengthening could have been a bit more, but we have some time and we can correct that. Um, the skill wise, I wish it. You know, we. I mean, there. are other good players in Grenada that I think should have been part of this team, but again, they did not turn up the training. So this is what I am working with, and I have to give kudos to the ladies for giving it their all and 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 working hard, you know, because it is what it is. I mean, if we have talented players in Grenada and they choose not to come out to training, there's not we can do. We just have to work with what I have, and you know, losing Carissa is a big loss to the team. There's no doubt about that. But it is lot. It is a big loss because it's not from a selection point of view. It's not from a selection point of view. It's her inability to come to training when she ought to. She's not the only one who's doing sexy. Half of the team, more than half the players are doing sexy. I mean, we had a camp and we had players who had exam on Monday. We had players who had exam Tuesday. So it is not just Arisa doing exam, the entire team doing exam. And they are going to look on to say, why is it I am doing exam, Carissa is doing exam, but she don't get to come to training and I have to come to training. So you have to be careful with what you do because you don't want it to appear that you favor other persons and other. So if you ask in regards to the team, I have to be grateful for what I have and I am I am going to work with them. I'm willing to work. I think the bunch of ladies that are there are willing to work to step up to the task. To the task. So yes, we're missing more. You know, we're missing talented players. But if they're not there, we we'll just have to work with what we have. Thank you very much, Coach. You are most welcome.